Want to see how we pulled off these killer football scenes? Get the play-by-play -play of our latest football production. From rigging special helmet cams to why we teamed up with a real football team and how we achieved this look using strategic lighting and special effects. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive straight in. We teamed up with Brad Day, a super talented filmmaker and his crew, to shoot world-class football action exclusively for the Artlist catalog. Originally for this shoot, we were going to use actors as we usually do. We had to make sure all the moves and the plays looked authentic and real. We're chatting back and forth with Artlist and we figured, why not get a proper professional football team and kit them up? This is where we inquired with the Bayside Ravens. The energy these two teams brought was just crazy. Yeah. 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. We're getting it in today. We're getting it in. If we had to do one diving shot 10, 15 times, they were more than happy to do it. And their facial expressions and their movements, it was just bang on, to be honest. Um, I don't think it, we could replicate that with actors. And this is all down to the coach being able to push his athletes really hard from day in to night. Now to take the intensity over the top, we couldn't settle for a normal set. So we decided to snag the Queensland football stadium for the entire day, loaded up with the best gear we could get our hands on. But it was the helmet cam that got us really excited for this shoot. We wanted to create dynamic POV shots for this shoot. I really wanted to see the POV of a football player. We actually decided why not get a helmet rig and strap a cinema camera onto that helmet and they can play a full match like they would in super slow motion. This is where the free fly ember comes in. It's compact enough that we can still bolt it to that POV helmet while still shooting over 700 frames a second in 5K. So we could run the full match out in super slow motion, get all the hits, the impacts, the dives. And I think it really sold those really big moments that typically would happen in a split second, but we could slow it down to, to 20 times that speed, really put you in that, that player's perspective. I wanted to take the POV shots one step further and actually rig a Komodo X into the helmet of a gridiron player. So he would hold the helmet next to him and run as if he was in a match. And to me, that was one of my favorite shots because it's literally like you the eyes of that gridiron player as he's battling his way through the field. Football production of this scale wouldn't be complete without recreating those iconic shots of the athletes making their entrance from the tunnels. The tunnel area was quite small and tight, so we really had to think about how we could get that dramatic overhead lighting look without obviously getting the lights in shot. So we managed to get a 1200D overhead and just put that on full blast with uh, the smoke, of course, to enhance the effect of the light. And we wanted to give it an extra edge and have flashing lights to give the sense that there's camera flashes before the game to build that tension. It also allows nice cut points um, for the editor to be able to use on those flashes. I think what really brought this tunnel scene together though was the energy from the players. They just, honestly, I didn't really say much. I said, just walk out as you would onto the field. And they didn't walk, they, they ran out and there's so much going on. You got the smoke, the lights, these guys just going crazy in their red outfits. It was just, yeah, it was cool. For a one day shoot, there were a lot of setups. The most challenging lighting setup of the day it would have had to be these slow motion shots. With these slow motion cameras, you need so much light, um, especially if you're shooting at night, we need to just add in so much artificial light to expose these cameras. We had a scene where we had five or six players jumping up and catching a ball, and this is where we really needed a lot of light pumped onto them. Luckily, the two 1200Ds were just enough to give them um, that edge and get our 700 frames a second. In total, we had four red cameras on this, a red Monstro, a red Raptor, and two Komodo Xs. And then we had the Ember, of course. So it was a lot um, to bounce between, but we had great operators. So we could achieve probably what's over 150 shots. Getting 
mom that Yeah, they want the mom. Yeah. It's like when you see everyone falling in front of you, like, you're like, I've got a lot of money in my hands. I can't drop. This is the moment we waited for. Everything you want is right here. From the very first shot that we had in the locker room to the very last shot where we popped the ribbons over the player, the energy is the same. The, the whole way through, honestly, they just pushed the whole day and night to make this happen. Scoring this footage was no small feat, but we always aim to go the extra mile to create the best creative assets possible. Ahead of the most anticipated Sunday of American sports, we wanted to hook you up with the highest quality assets to seriously pump up your videos. And if you're curious to see the final result, head over to artless.io and check it out. Watch the game change, yeah.